Oh, what is up everybody hopefully you guys have a great time and once you get it by do not forget to hit the like on the video subscribe to my youtube channel and definitely hit that bell notification now once again guys in this video right here i'm basically going to show you another scary map okay this one is called escape the Asy uh, asylum asylum which is pretty cool and uh once again the map code for this one is going to be uh three five four eight five two uh nine six four zero two two okay guys so make sure you guys enter that map code once again it's three five four eight five two nine six four zero two two okay and uh once again i'm gonna show you where you can find the key i'm gonna show you where you can find the switch i'm also gonna show you where you can find the easter egg because you gotta find like easter egg and there's two ending in this in this um game okay i'm gonna show you the good ending and then i'll show you the bad ending at the end okay because people want to see the good ending so i will basically show you that real quick so we're going to start it up and i'm also going to be giving out some skin in the item shop if anybody wants some skin in the item shop make sure to leave a like make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on that notification now the good ending guys i will let you guys know you have to collect the easter egg okay uh, so just to point that out, let me just show you real quick. So it does say collect all 10 Easter eggs. So you could get like the good ending. Okay. So if anything, I will let you guys know. Okay. So we're going to start it up. Let's start it up. All right. And at this moment, we're just going to wait and enjoy this cutscene real quick. Okay, guys, so I did actually set it all wrong. It's called the Asylum. So I do ap I apologize. It's called uh, Escape the Asylum. And I do apologize. I said it all wrong. But anyway, at this moment, we're going to make a right. And we're just going to keep walking straight down, okay? Uh, so keep walking straight down. And we're going to get our first Easter egg. So keep running. You can, you can run if you guys want. Just keep running if you want to. And it does give you a little background of the doctor, if anything. If you guys want to come over here, he said doctor found guilty is missing. He was supposed to get he's supposed to go to the trial, whatever. He's a fugitive now. And he just dis he just disappeared from court, basically. So now um, he's a fugitive. But at the same time, you guys saw him in the beginning of the cutscene. So at this moment, go to the last door over here and then make a left. And then you will find your first Easter egg right here. Okay. Once you find your first Easter egg, you guys gonna make uh you guys gonna come over here, make a left here. You guys gonna see like a wheelchair right there. You guys gonna make a right, right again, and then open the elevator. Once you guys open the elevator, you guys could turn around real quick, just like that, and you guys are gonna come over here. Keep coming over here real quick, and then you guys gonna make a left, and then you guys are gonna run straight down. Okay. So you guys could keep running straight down. And at this moment, guys, I will let you guys know that there is going to be the second Easter egg at the end of this door right here. OK, so once you come uh, almost close to the elevator, make a left and then there should be your number two Easter egg right here. My friend, you guys are going to grab that. And now we're going to basically walk to the elevator and then turn around and then we, you know, the elevator should take you up. Now, this part is kind of well done because the person that did this, this is really cool. Not for nothing. You got like a little cutscene and all that, which is you guys are going up. Well, you can move and all that, but you can see that, you know, the people here in the the asylum, they, they cuckoo, you know, they're crazy. So look at this guy. Oh, kind of scared right there. 
So that's kind of creepy if you guys ask me. But at the same time, guys, you guys are going to come over here. And this part right here does kind of creep me out. Because as soon as this door open and you do kind of walk forward, you guys will see this. So you guys will get like a little cussing. And you'll be like, what in the world? Like you just, you just see this random stuff right here, which is pretty creepy. Not for nothing. You guys got to be careful with this dude. Well, nah, you really don't have to. You guys going to open this door and you guys going to see your number three Easter egg. So make sure you grab that. Now there is in total, I think there is five Easter. I mean, there's five. Um, I'm going to say five, but I'm going to say that there is multiple Easter egg here. So this, this uh, in total will be f um, three inside here. So we need to open the door. Oh, this cutscene is pretty cool. Check this out. You open the curtain. Watch this. You guys, you guys gonna see? You see the guy? He's literally right there. We're gonna open it, and then he's nowhere to be found. That is creepy. Not for nothing. That is pretty cool. I just want to show you a little cutscene right there. Okay. Now at this moment, guys, uh, the other Easter egg should be around here. So we're gonna have to find it. So here we go. It should be it should be around here. You guys could definitely look around here if you guys want to. Okay, look at every door if anything. All right, now they do show you the number there. Okay, which is pretty cool. But at this moment, guys, uh, we are gonna keep looking around here. If you do see uh, a dog, remember we only found three so far, so we need to find in total. It will basically be. Um, we need to find at least five in total, okay? Just gonna open the door here. Uh, just check inside here if anything. There's nothing here. Open the door. Now there should be another door right here. This is door number, let me see what door is this one. Number four, okay? There you go. So now we need to find door number five, which is should be in one of these doors. There you go, there's your number five right there. There you go, grab that. Now walk out and um, right here, you guys are going to get a crazy scene. It's literally inside here. You guys going to go inside here and then you guys are going to, you know, go to the door and Ooh, that was scary. Now for that, that was kind of scary. Pretty cool. And now we're going to go back. Okay. Now we're going to go to the elevator and the elevator does give you a code. You guys can see it around the map. All right. Uh, well, inside the rooms and everything. I already know the code for the exit. So we're going to um, open the exit by, you know, type in five, four, zero, one. OK, so that is the code. Once again, it's five, four, zero, one. And then you guys going to enter the code. Make sure you guys enter the code. There you go. And now we're going to walk down the stairs. OK, keep walking down the stairs, if anything. OK, and I, I recommend you to run. Just keep running down the stairs. OK. And at this moment, guys, we are going to um, turn around and then go under the stairs, which it should be the door number six. It should be under the stairs. OK. Uh, all right. Let me grab it. OK. Now you got to be careful with this guy. This part right here might take a little bit long. Not for nothing. This part might take a little bit long. So as soon as you crouch, you guys can see this dude popping up. And then you guys see the light. So it does tell you that, you know, if the light goes off, like kind of dark. Be careful. So I want you guys to run on the left side. Keep going left, left again. Keep, keep going, keep going. Make a left right here. There should be a first switch right here on this part. There you go. You guys gonna, you know, press that button real quick and then crouch and then come back. There's your first switch. And then you guys are gonna keep running straight. So please keep running straight like this. All right, make a left again. All right, and at this moment, you guys are gonna follow this, so make sure you guys follow this. Keep running down the hallway real quick. There you go. Keep running, and there's your second switch right there, my friend. There you go. Pretty simple, right? Now, at this moment, guys, what you guys are gonna do is come over here, keep running back, okay? All right. And at this moment, instead of. Oh, you gotta be calm. Okay, so this part, you see how it's going dark? Yeah, I'm gonna get caught. I'm, I'm just gonna let him catch me. If anything. If anything, that's fine. He can cash you. Uh, you can let him cash you. If he cash you, that's completely fine. So this is what you guys are going to do, okay? Instead of going now left, we're going to go on the right side. So we're going to go on the right side. Key going on the right side. Don't. Oh, you know what? Um, I think you can make a left. Make a left. All right. And at this moment, make a right. 
and they keep going straight and then make a uh, another right right here make a right oh you know what yeah go through here never mind just keep going through here oh I passed it the switch was actually on the other side not this side so you gotta definitely be careful when he does come to you All right so do not please do not get caught if anything oh Oh, he's definitely chasing me. I'm gonna tie. Make sure you hide. There you go. Yeah, be careful. Just make sure you hide if anything, okay? So the switches is a, a little bit confused. It's gonna take you at least a good minute for you to find it. But you, eventually, you will find it. There you go. There's another switch right here. There you go. So I'm only missing one more switch, which is basically in total will be four switches, if anything, okay? So in total, it will be four switches, okay? So you need to basically find it. This part right here, I can't really explain much because you have to find it yourself. And it's a bit kind of confusing on this part right here. So you have to um, try to find it, see if you can find it because uh, it's kind of like a maze and it's confusing, it's very confusing. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a bit confusing and it confused the soul out of me sometimes. <laughs> It actually do. It kind of confuses me sometimes. Okay, so at this moment you got all you guys have to do is find four switches. That's all you guys have to do, find four switches. But I know I'm uh, right now. I know where I, um where I'm going. I know I'm going to the right place for sure. For sure, I can tell you that I'm going on the right place real quick. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna come over here, and let's see if um. Uh, I keep going straight to the switches for some reason. Oh, what? Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, let me have right here. Yep, definitely over here. So yeah, so you guys have to be careful because he will come after you, if anything. And he will try, he will try to take you out, okay? So we're only missing one more switch and I know it's literally around here for sure. Oh. So definitely not here for sure. I'm gonna go on the right side. We're just gonna go on the right side here. Yeah, just keep going. I think I found it. Yep, I found it. I think I found it. Oh uh, nope, not here. But I think it's definitely around here where I'm at. I'm definitely know I'm in the right path right now. So for sure, I'm definitely going on the right place, the right lane. And oh, I found. Yeah, I found that one. So this part right here, guys, is going to take you a good minute for you to find, okay? The last switch is literally around here. But uh, eventually, you will basically find it, guys. It just takes some time for you to find it. But, uh, yeah, just keep trying. Just keep looking, you know, because, like I said, finding four switches is a bit hard to find, not for nothing. Uh, yes, yeah, I just keep bumping to the same. You see, I keep bumping to the same place real quick. Uh, let me see if it's definitely around here for sure. Oh, whoa. Okay, back out, back out. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Okay, at this moment, let's see if we find it. And, yep, we found it. Okay, there you go. So, it's four switches in total. Okay, guys. So, now we could definitely get out of here, if anything, you know. So, I do want to point that out, you know. Um... Let me see, maybe this side, we're gonna stay on the right side real quick. Uh, nope, not here, for sure not here, but uh, let me see, we're almost right there. Whew. Run, 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 make a right, and now you can go inside here. Woo! So basically, I kind of did it really fast than what I did last time. That part takes a little bit long to find the switches and all that. But as soon as you come here, guys, there should be a switch right here. You guys should press on that. And there should be, like, water right there falling on the, on the floor. And it should take you up, okay? And uh, you guys are going to come over here in this spot, okay? Now, at this moment, guys, we are going all the way up. And now we're going to run straight. Just keep running straight down. Just keep running. Don't stop. Keep running straight down. Keep running. Okay? And then you guys are gonna see the 
You know, a little cutscene right here, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That looked pretty cool. Oh, he just broke that. And at this moment, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get Easter egg number seven. And now we're gonna run back, okay? So make sure you run back. You can run fast if you guys want. And then you guys are gonna make a left, keep running straight. And then you guys are gonna go inside this room. All right, so make a right right here. And there should be a key. So grab that key right here, pick up the key. Once you guys pick up the key, turn around, and then you guys are gonna run over here. And there's gonna be like a little locker on this room. You guys are gonna unlock it. Unlock the room, there you go. Once you guys unlock the room, you guys are gonna go inside. Once you go inside, you know, press the elevator switch. Once you press the elevator switch, you guys are gonna make a right, and then you guys are gonna run straight, and you guys are gonna see the elevator coming from here. Then you guys are gonna go inside the elevator and then go upstairs, okay? Pretty simple, guys, not that hard at all. Now, be careful with these cameras because... Oh, Jesus, I forgot all about that. I totally forgot all about him. <laughs> We're going to go to room number one. So, let's just go to room number one. And room number one, we should have the door number eight. The Easter egg. Eight. Yeah, there, there you go. We're going to go to the red switch. This will unlock the room number two. There you go. We're going to turn around. We're going to come over here. Once again, be careful with the cameras because the cameras will lock your door. Just to let you guys know. So this is room number two, and now we are going to, oh, that actually fell. We're gonna press the button for room number three. Room number three is straight down the hallway, so be careful, once again, be careful with the camera. You don't wanna, you know, touch the red. They will lock the door and you have to do it again. You guys don't wanna do it again, that's all I gotta say. So this is room number three, make sure you go through there and then come over here, and then you guys gonna press um, the button, which is gonna open Room number four. Room number four should be around the corner, right over here. So just, you know, just come over here. Watch out with the camera. I would recommend you to crouch and walk right under it, like the way I show you. And this is room number four. Go here, and then you guys gonna um, shut down the system by pressing the switch. Then you guys gonna come over here, and then you guys gonna walk straight ahead. And uh, you guys gonna make a right, and then make another right, and then you guys gonna go inside this room where you said exit okay now once again i told you guys that there is two different ending in this um you know map okay so we're gonna turn right and we're gonna go straight down over here okay we're gonna crouch all right recommend you to crouch and then at this moment you're gonna make a right you guys are gonna keep walking straight all right and then you're gonna make a left right here and then we're gonna walk down here real quick okay this will give you the easter egg number nine okay which is uh she's the door is definitely down here and uh, we are going to grab that okay by interacting with it by the way the this easter this this door is pretty cool now for nothing okay and we're going to interact with it there you go and now we're going to make a left i'm going to keep walking and then we're going to make another left and then walk up the stairs okay all right so at this moment, guys, uh, it, this this part is pretty simple. Make another left right here, and you guys are gonna walk straight. You guys are gonna see this kind of like creepy fellow right here. We're gonna make another left and then walk straight down. Once you guys walk straight down, I am going to tell you what you need to do. Okay. So make sure that you guys do that. Make a left, and then you guys are gonna keep walking straight. Make sure you keep walking straight. We gotta make a straight. Um, and then we're gonna make a left, okay? So as soon as we get to right here, we're gonna make a left, and then we're gonna walk up, okay? Once you walk up, uh, once you keep walking up, you guys are going to fall off like this and then open this door. Now this part, guys, there is, like I said, there is a bad ending. You guys could go over there. If you go over there, uh, the bad guy is gonna come from from the bushes and he's gonna like you're gonna down 911 and then he's just gonna take you out But if you want the good ending there should be a door right here Which is gonna be Easter egg number 10 and this should unlock a door It should say a door has been unlocked in the lab now If you guys do not know where the lab is at is basically coming over here and you guys are gonna crouch and then you guys are gonna walk down here now I'm gonna show you the bad ending too because some people want to see the bad ending so if you want to see the bad ending, uh, I will basically show you, okay? And I'll show you the good ending too, if anything, all right? 
So the good ending here is pretty cool, not for nothing. It is kind of funny, not for nothing. But I, sh I, I you're gonna see what I'm talking about, okay? So just follow my step, you know. Just make sure you make a left, and you keep walking straight down, okay? So we're gonna go back to the lab. We were just in the lab not too long ago, so we're gonna go there, okay? I'll show you the good. Uh, I'll show you the good, the the good ending, and I'll show you the bad ending, okay? We're gonna make a right. Now remember the good ending, guys. Um. Just follow the step, okay? Just keep following the step. I'll show you the good ending, like I said, and the bad ending. So I'll show you both of them, okay? So once you come over here, we're going back to, once again, we're going back to the lap. This is the lap over here. And we're going to come over here. Now, once we do come over here, okay, just like that, um, we are going to go over here. So just keep running. Yeah, I, I don't know why I ran over there. Sorry about that. Just keep running where I'm at. Okay, just keep running straight. Keep running straight. All right, keep running, keep running, keep running. Then you guys are gonna make a left, okay? Now there is music here, so I'm gonna have to like, just in case, I don't know if there's music, I don't, I really don't know. But basically I'm gonna mute this part right here, all right, in the background. But what happened is that as soon as you open this door right here, you basically get a cutscene, okay? Of literally like dumb dancing, which is pretty funny. That 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 is the the good ending, okay. And um, at this moment, you guys are good to go. That is the good ending right there. And it it, it should have finished right there for some reason. It didn't finish, but I guess you know they also want to show you the bad ending. So that's the door that opened. That is the good ending part right there. Uh, but you know I'm gonna show you the bad ending real quick. So uh, let me show you that too. So. At that moment, that, that will unlock the door. So you guys are good to go. And that is the good ending out of that real quick. But I'm going to show, once again, I'm going to show you the bad ending now too at the same time. So let's just go there. I want to show you the good ending and the bad ending. So right now we're going to make a right. All right. And then we're going to keep walking straight. All right. Once you will keep walking straight, we're going to make a left. Okay. We're going to keep running straight. And um, at this moment, guys, that is it. That was that was it. That That's all I wanted to show you, okay? So you guys can actually enjoy it and, and all that. And that ending was pretty, pretty cool right there. But at this moment, guys, just keep walking straight, okay? And, um, yeah, just keep walking straight. Keep walking straight. I mean, I'm, yeah, so we're going to make a left right here. And now we're going to walk up and I'm going to show you the bad ending in this part right here. I want to show you the bad ending. And once um, just go to the telephone line. Once you go there, you guys will go here. All right. And there you go. And there's your bad ending right here, my friend. And once again, thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you next time. Pass. So there you go, guys. Good ending and bad ending. And that's pretty much it. Take care, guys, and have a good day. Bye.